this uh, video demonstrates uh, how to import a GPS file data into ArcMap. Uh, this GPX uh, file format, I will change and show you here. The GPX file format is a uh, format for saving uh, GPS measurements. So I have a GPX file here that comes from a GPS uh, that a student group had been used measuring tracks, so-called tracks and waypoints on Ultuna campus um, 2012. And as always you should use also use a background map or formal reference map. Uh, in this case uh, I have downloaded an orthophoto in JPEG raster format here. Uh, it's an orthophoto, it's also a valid map even if it's not um, uh, one, one of the vector formats. So uh, nevertheless we have um, uh, the reference system clearly defined and we have the coordinates and we have some reference object inside it. We will shift to our map here. Now we will find um, our workspace here also. Mm, here, import GPX. So here, uh, here's the orthophoto in JPEG raster format and the GPX file. In case you do not see the GPX file here, you need, probably need, to go to the Customize menu and open the extensions, or the activated extensions here. Uh, to be able to see the GPX file, you have to have the data interoperability extension activated. You have to have a check mark here. If it's an empty square, just click it, maybe wait, wait a few seconds, and the check mark will appear, and then you click Close. If you still don't see the GPX uh, file after that, you, the only thing you need to do is probably to refresh the folder in the catalog window. Just select the folder, right click and choose refresh. And it will most probably appear. If you don't have the extension, if we should um, address that problem too. If you don't see the data interoperability extension, uh, the option here at all, the most probable, probable cause is that you have not installed the data interoperability extension. Uh, from uh, ArcGIS version 10, you first install the ArcGIS desktop and when you have finished that, you have to go back to the installation, uh, run the installation again, and choose the data interoperability extension. The data interoperability extension is installed separately from version 10. So that could be the case if someone else has uh, installed ArcGIS on your computer, not being a GIS expert, or, or uh, if you have installed ArcGIS on your desktop. So, but this is okay. Just close. So now here is your GPX file. You can click the plus sign in front of the name and you can see the contents. Here you can see um, waypoints, track, you can also see metadata. It could be some other things here in between. In this case, um, the sub layer or the group layers that um, contains any meaningful information is the waypoint layer and the track layer. But first of all, always start with the background map. And the background map is in this case an autophoto in JPEG format. If you have the JPEG format, uh, you should always open the properties uh, window in the ARC catalog window um, and have a look at the spatial reference here. And it says undefined. If it says undefined, you have to define it. Click the edit button on the same row, click select, projected, national grids, Sweden, ah, no, Sweden and Sverf 99. In this case, at least. Click OK. Now we should be okay, just 
adding it into the table of contents, drag and drop. It asks you for creating pyramids, uh, doesn't matter, click yes or no. Uh, we, I, I just choose no. Um, now, the next thing is to add the GPX layers. The layers here, I start with the waypoint and now uh, the way to do this is just to click and uh, drag and drop it on top of the orthophoto. Now, you will have this uh, geographic coordinate system warning. Always click on the transformation button. Always. Because here you have to check uh, what, how ArcGIS would like to do the transformation. Because these, the GPS measurements are done in VGS84 reference system and you have your project in is in sphere f99 and here so here in the top field it should say uh, gcs vgs 1984 and nothing else and uh, the second uh, input argument is correct and the last input argument under the uh, um, and the using should be, it's not much to choose from, choose from, but choose the one that you have. It's VRF 99 to VGS 1984. Sounds uh, wrong, but it will work. Just click OK and close. And do the exact same thing with the tracks. Transformations, VGS 84, and the uh, transformation method using like this, OK, and close. So now I can change the color a little bit on the waypoints, maybe the size also. So you see that you have things on the map. Nevertheless, these the tracks and the waypoint are here defined still in VGS84. And in a project, you really, really should convert all of your data into one and the same coordinate system. So what you do here is you select for to begin with the waypoints in the table of contents, right click on it, choose data, export data. Uh, export all features, uh, usually the, the default. Um, uh, use the same coordinate system as the data frame. Uh, output feature class, click, click a browse button. Um, and see to that you have it on the correct place. This is my workspace and I will call it, call it uh, Wepoints for short. And also you could check at least that save as type is shapefile. Like this. Should be okay. Do you want to add the exported data to the map as layer? Yes and do the exact same thing with the original track uh, feature layer data export data all features same coordinate system as data frame feature class location and name i will call it uh, t lines and okay hope for the best yes do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes now, uh, simply remove the original things that you added from the GPX file, like this. Nothing will be removed on your computer, just in the table of contents. Um, now, here you have your, your um, points. My intention here was to change the color a little bit so you can see them clearly. And you also have lines. Well, I changed. Yeah. And here you can see that the students have been running around a compass like this, making point, a measuring point, and measuring line lines using a GPS. GPS, sorry. Yeah. So this is was was how to get your GPS data into. ArcGIS. The next step would be to, uh, of course, fix um, uh, 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 a good layout, and uh, the next, and that would include working with the symbology of the points and the lines.
in order to show different things, uh, types of the objects, and um, only remove only show the points that are valid to show. Yes, this for now. Thank you.